What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Matty Ice here, back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be unboxing from digitaka.com, straight from Japan. Some really cool JDM stuff in here, a brand new Daiwa reel, and much more stuff to come. So stick around, it's gonna be a good one. All right, guys, and if you haven't already done so, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me. Leave me some comments down below. We're still on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so help me get that 1,000 subscriber mark. I really would appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, we do unboxings on this channel. We do tournament videos, kayak fishing, rod and reel reviews, many, many, many more things to come on the channel. So hit that subscribe button for me. Help me out. I really would appreciate it. And also don't forget to check out today's video sponsor, which is HotSeatCustomBaits.com. If you use my code Matty at checkout, you'll save 10% off of your order. And get you some of those soft plastics in any custom color that you want and use that code Matty at checkout. That would be awesome. And also if you're in the Tampa Bay area and you're looking for a great bass club to join, check the link down in the video description, NorthTampaBassClub.com. We're always looking for new boaters to join. So go to the website, send us a message, let us know that you're interested in joining the club and get in for the rest of the season. We've got some great tournaments coming up. Um, so let us know that you're interested in joining. All right, guys, well, let's get into this unboxing. I know you guys are, and I am also crazy excited about this box unboxing. So like I said, straight from Japan, from digitaka.com, some JDM stuff, really awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the box. see what we've got. All right, looks like they did a really good job of packaging all this stuff. Look at all this stuff is all bubble wrapped and everything and everything looks to be packaged really nicely. And it looks like we've got some stuff from digitaka.com. Let's see, I don't even know what the heck this is. I think they might be stickers. Let's see. Ugh. Come on, I wanna to get to the good stuff. I know, I know, I know, me too. Let's just check out to see what this is. This looks like to be just like a little a little flyer here. Yeah, nothing crazy, just like a little flyer. So, advertising some Shimano stuff, cool. All right, let's get into the goods. Looks like they packaged, like I said, really, really well. All right, let's go ahead and start with uh, some decoy worm hooks. So I've got a three out right here, De decoy worm hook. It's just an EWG style hook. I wanted to give them a shot. I, I it, It's kind of hard to tell from the packaging because the packaging in, in Japan is a lot different than the packaging that's in the US. So I wasn't really sure what I was buying. So I had to go back based on the shape of the hook to make sure. Um, but we're gonna see um, how these hooks work. Like I said, this is a 3-0 and here's a 5-0. Just standard EWG style hooks. So let's take one out of the package and let's take a look at it. There you go. I mean, it just looks like a standard worm hook. It looks like the eye is welded shut too, which is pretty cool. Let me get a closer look at that. Yeah, it does look like it's it's welded shut. Yeah, I mean, it's just a standard standard wire hook. It doesn't no, nothing too nothing too crazy, but like I said, um, really really cheap, really really cheap. I'm gonna put the price on the screen for you guys from what I paid for these hooks. So this, this may be the new place to buy hooks. I just need to make sure that I got the right shape um, that I was looking for. Uh, so there we go. So five aught, three aught decoy hooks. All right, next, I got some of these uh, uh, free, rig, free rig weights. So I got two packs from decoy. These are the five gram, which equals 3 16 ounce. So got a couple of these. Let's, Let's open these up. Also could be used for a drop shot too. All right, yeah, I mean, does it say the weight on it? Yeah, it does. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does actually say five gram on that. Uh, but all my weights are pretty much the same size, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. But as you can see, 
It's got that little, little circle for the line tie right there. That's great for a, uh, for a free rig. So I got, there's uh, four in each pack. So I got two packs of these. Decoy, drop shot weights. So there you go. All right, next. From Mega Bass, the SV3 spinner bait in a half ounce. Let's see. Yes, this is a half ounce double willow. Man, that spinner bait looks freaking sweet. So let's take this out of the package and take a look at it. Oh, and by the way, the color of this is called Hasu, H-A-S-U. Hasu is the color. Man, look at that guy. Super realistic, thin blades. This is definitely a compact spinner bait for sure. It's got a small hook on it. Small little bait keeper, which would be perfect. Uh, I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to be running a trailer on this one or not. We're going to have to kind of play around with it and see. I do have some um, Easy Shiners, uh, which are a lot more finesse uh, style than the Swing Impact Fats. That's, that's going to be too big for the spinner bait, but this is just a little tiny little spinner bait. So finesse. It's got these tails on it, so you, like I said, you may not necessarily need, um, need a trailer on it for say. But, I like running plastics and swim baits on the back of my spinner baits. So Mega Bass SV3 and a half ounce in Hasu color. Nice blue on the top, silver on the bottom. It, it looks like it does have the weight size. Yes, it is labeled. So it's half ounce right there on the bottom. Man, this bait looks awesome. Absolutely, can't wait to tie this bad boy on. All right, next from Mega Bass, the good stuff. Vision 110 in, what's the color? H-T-I-U, H-T-I-U. Man, that looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and take it out of the package. Let's take a look at this bad boy. I love my Mega Bass jerk baits. That hook got buried in there, there we go. Wow. It is semi-translucent. It's got some gold. Man, it just really just looks like a straight up bait fish, man. Black on the top and then green. It's just, you know, it's just kind of a bait fish looking color. Pearl belly with some green flake in it. Really, really good color. It looks like that's pretty awesome looking, man. Can't beat the Mega Bass jerk baits. And this is just the standard Vision 110, which I believe is a half ounce. Yeah, a half ounce. Nice and loud. There she is. Color again was uh, IU, H-T-I-U. So really awesome looking color. All right, let's get to the next bait. What do we got next? All right, next. From Jackal, we have a frog that's been on my radar for a long, long time, thanks to Tactical Bassin. This is the Jackal Gavalcho frog. So they say that this walks extremely easy. I got it in white. I didn't have a white popping frog. So we're gonna add that to the list. The actual name of the color is called, I think it's just called white gill, I think. So it's a white color, but it's got some, some blue gill markings bars on the side. So let's open this bad boy up. Yeah, it looks pretty darn good. And it's got three legs instead of just two. So not gonna trim these guys up. But I'll tell you what, it's pretty soft. And it looks like the, the hooks are already kind of pointed up in the up direction. So I shouldn't need to bend these out. The hook looks like it has a slick coating on it. It's a little bit of a different looking hook. It looks a little different, if you can see that, I don't know. A little bit of a different shape, looks pretty sharp. Oh yeah, definitely sharp. Cool color, it's a, a, you know, basically just a solid white belly. That's really what we're looking for here. And it's got like the little blue gill pattern on the sides, let's see. Yeah, can't really see through it, so we're good there. But yeah, there we go. There's the white popping frog, the Gavalcho from, the Gavalcho frog from Jackal. All right, what do we got next? I know I got another Jackal bait in here somewhere. All right, here it is, the next Jackal bait. Again, thanks to Tactical Bass and for uh, really saying how much they love this bait, and that's the TN70, Jackal TN70. Color is 
Um, let's see here, it is a gold color. I'll put the name of the color on the screen, um, but I got it because it, it's gonna mimic the golden shiner. And it's kind of actually gold is one of my favorite colors for a lipless in Florida. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, this is the exact color I wanted, man. This, uh, wow. This thing is perfect, absolutely perfect. It's got some sticky sharp hooks. Ouch, <laughs> there you go. See, got me. They're pretty small hooks though, but. So this is the exact color that I wanted, TN70. So I have a Spro Aruku Shad, which, is, which caught my first PB on Lake Okeechobee. So it's gold on the sides, black on the top, and orange on the bottom. And what makes this TN70 special is this little piece right here, that tungsten, piece of tungsten, and the rattle. So can't wait to tie this bad boy on, get bit. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, from Depths, we have the Death Hatter, the five inch Death Hatter. So this is a kind of a Cinco style bait here. Um, with a little pintail. So I wanted to try it, and, and believe it or not, they actually had this in my favorite color, which is June Bug. Can't believe that they actually have June Bug. So let's take a look at this guy. And Depths has some stinky baits. Now yeah, I guess this one doesn't really smell too bad. It's almost kind of like plastic. All right. So there you go. I guess we'll just show it like this. There's a little pintail. So it's kind of like, um, I mean, I guess it's kind of like a minnow style bait. Um, it kind of has like a, like a shad shape to it. So I don't know if I'm gonna hook it like this or if I'm gonna hook it like this to the thin side. So maybe it has a Cinco type fall, but I think this is gonna be a pretty cool looking, pretty cool bait. Can't wait to throw this. So we're gonna try this a couple of different ways. I'm gonna Texas rig it. Um, it doesn't have, yeah, I guess it does have a hook slot in it. It has, yeah, it has a hook slot in it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to t hard to see, but I'll try to pinch it there for you. But it does have a hook slot in it right there. So I guess uh, it's intended to be hooked in this direction, but we'll try it both ways. We'll try it this way and also this way just to see how it falls. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try those out. So the Depths Death Hatter and five inch in June Bug. All right, this is, I believe this is the last bait in the box. This is, wow, this packaging is huge. <laughs> this is the G-Crack G Bellows Gill in, and this is in Japanese, so I don't know that I can read it. Um, it's a 3.8 inch. I'm not sure what the name of the color. Oh, I remember what the name of the color. This is called Smoky Shad but I can't read it, it's in Japanese, but there's the uh, the G-Crack Bellows Gill, the 3.8. So this is a unique bait. I'm gonna try for the first time. I really like the Depths version of the uh, of their gill bait, the uh, Bull Gill. Wow, this is a really good looking color. I guess, whoa, these things stink. They smell like Fritos, they're right. So it's got some all right, very interesting looking bait. I've been seeing a lot of guys throwing these things online. So it's nice and soft. It's got the ribs. These baits freaking stink, oh my God. So, but the, the head's solid. So we'll try those out. The Bellows Gill from G-Crack. We are gonna put these back in the package because they stink. The G-Crack Bellows Gill and 3.8 inch free rig bait. Dock skipping bait, bed bait. And then last but not least, well not actually last, I got a uh, some um, Sunline FC Sniper in 16 pound. It's uh, 110 yards, 16 pound. I didn't have any 16, so um, this is my favorite line. Now the packaging looks a little different in Japan than it does in the US. Uh, but again, I assume it's the same line. It's just different sticker. I would guess um, in the packaging, but you're gonna see why in just a minute, why I got this. All right, this is the, for the main course, the main event. Here she is. 
the Daiwa Zillion SVTW. Here she is, right here. And the box is small. I guess this is probably a small reel. 1000 HL, L stands for left handed. We've got the whatever, whatever, all in Japanese. Here you go for the uh, instruction manual. And my God, this reel, wow, it is small. Oh my goodness gracious. This thing is freaking sweet. It's got a little stubby handle on it though, which kind of is a little bit weird, but wow. I can't wait to get this spooled up with some line and get everything. Oh my God, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right guys, so <clears throat> let me take the glasses off here and get a little better look at this guy. All right, so Daiwa Zillion SVTW. It's got the hyperdrive. It's got the, the star drag. Usually they come totally loose, which is cool. Has the SV Boost G1 Dura Aluminum spool. Got the T-wing right there. Got the T-wing. Brakes are on zero. Wow. This is, um, does it say on here? I got the seven, this is, should be the seven one to one. Yep, so just to read some specs here, got the Hyperdrive Digigear, uh, Hyper Tough Clutch, SV Spool, Hyper Armed Owl Housing, whatever that means, TW System, SV Boost Spool, seven one to one gear ratio, 175 grams, which is, uh, I don't know, just under about six ounces, I think. Uh, max drag 11 pounds 75 millimeter uh, handle eight ball bearings so for 16 pound fluoro I should be able to put um, 80 meters on here so I should be able to use almost that whole spool to fill this guy up and have a little bit left over for leader material but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this we're gonna get this guy spooled up um, and we're gonna get it out on the water Get, it up, get the kayak out, rig up some of these baits, and give this guy a test run and see how she casts. Everybody says that they absolutely love this reel that owns it. Um, feels like it palms really, really easy in the hand. I don't have the hugest hands either, but doesn't feel super heavy, but hey, we're gonna give it a shot and see how we like it. So, just so you guys know, um, I was able to save quite a bit of money uh, by shopping at digitaka.com. I'm gonna put all of the prices on the screen to show you how much money I saved by ordering directly from Japan. The shipping, it took them from the day that I ordered. So I made this order on a Friday. Today is the following, next following Thursday. So it took them a total of six days from the date that I placed the order so it arrived on my doorstep. So super fast shipping, no shipping costs on the reel. So didn't pay anything extra for shipping. And I saved a crap ton of money by ordering from digitaka.com. The Japanese yen, uh, the conversion rate is in our favor if you live in the US. So don't be scared to order things off of a Japanese website. Um, but significant savings on JDM Reels, so Daiwa, Shimano, uh, Abu Garcia, if you're into that, they have those reels on the website. Now, one thing I will say about the website is, uh, and also they have rods too, uh, you know, Daiwa, Shimano, uh, Mega Bass, uh, they have all that stuff. But the one thing that you need to take into consideration is even though they do have a lot, a lot of items on the website, there was quite a few things that were out of stock but if you sign up as a member, you can do a, uh, where they can you know, put, put it on a wish list and they'll send you an email when stuff comes back in stock. So just keep that in mind. Uh, like, I mean, I'll give you a perfect example. The, the jerk bait, the Vision 110. Okay, they didn't have a lot of colors in stock. They may only had two or three of these Vision 110s in stock, but again, you know Mega Bass, their colors are awesome anyway, so I just picked one up just so I could have it, 
It looked really good uh, on the screen. Color looks much better in person than it did on the screen. But again, a lot of the stuff is not in stock. That includes the baits and the good stuff, the rods and the reels. So just be patient with it. Uh, keep an eye on the website. Do those uh, uh, notify me emails when things come back in stock. Put together a, a wish list of things that you guys want. And uh, I'm definitely going to be ordering from them again. I mean, for the for the line, for sure. The line, significant savings on the line. Significant savings on the hooks uh, and the weights. The hooks and the weights. I mean, those are three things that cost you a ton of money if you're ordering like in bulk. Now I just ordered just these, uh, just the single packs just to kind of see what I was getting so that way I know for next time. Uh, and the same thing for the weights, just wanna know because the packaging looks a little different than what you're gonna see on Tackle Warehouse. So the packaging looks a little bit different. Uh, but again, for all of those consumable items um, that we use on a day-to-day -day basis that you've gotta replenish all the time, hooks, sinkers, and line, go through a ton of that stuff. Uh, and then of course you've got your, you know, your big purchases like your rods and reels. Um, but, uh, but again, check out the website, digitaka.com. I recommend it, uh, as far as, you know, making a purchase on it, really, really good fast shipping. So check it out. All right. So we're going to get some lines spooled up on this reel, get it out to the lake, get the kayak out and give this thing a test run. So stay tuned for the next video. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one.